Dubbed the Prince of Darkness early on in his hard-rocking career, Ozzy Osbourne steered Birmingham band Black Sabbath through their platinum-selling heydays of the 1970s. At the start of the 80s, however, he found himself out on his own, suffering from depression and addictions to a mixed bag of intoxicating substances. He bounced back from that black spot with the help of his former manager's daughter and future wife, Sharon Arden, and achieved solo success with albums like Blizzard of Oz and Diary of a Madman. After more problems with drink and drugs, he looked ready to bow out again, but his retirement in 1995 was followed by an immediate comeback tour and the launch of his wildly successful annual Ozfest, which also saw his brief reunion with Black Sabbath. Just when his solo career finally looked to be tapering off in 2001, Sharon snared the whole family a deal to just be themselves, and the MTV smash hit the Osbournes. All the resulting attention left Ozzy scratching his head, but over the next few years, he was invited to dine with the president, awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and declared a living legend at the 2008 Classic Rock Awards. I don't know about the living legend bit. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm alive to receive the award because my lifestyle went crazy for a long while, you know. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a prude or anything, but I remember what, I kind of remember what I did yesterday. On the eve of his 60th birthday in December 2008, he could remember all the way back to his first hit with Black Sabbath. So I remember being in a, in a club in Birmingham and... Uh, Jim Simpson, the then manager, local guy, said to me, your album guy's in the charts next week, it's 17, I think. I thought he was pulling my leg, I was just, you know, choking, letting it. And we had no idea. He also hadn't forgotten that his status as a living legend rather than a dead one owed a lot to his other half. If you want me to be the manager, you've got to start cleaning your act up and you've got to, well, I did for a while, but then I went back out and she stuck by me through it all. And this is a dedication to my wife, Sharon. She's wonderful. The best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I love her.